Thanks for checking out this black teen character. Let's see what's included in this purchase. This purchase includes a black teen character that's fully rigged inside of Blender. Four custom poses are also included in this purchase. And the renders are super duper quick. 44 seconds in cycles. And look at this detail. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Thanks for sticking through the overview part of the video. Now we'll talk about everything that's included in more details. If you want to skip to a particular part, just check out the timestamps in the description and just watch what you want to go watch. This character is made in Blender 3.0, but I tested it in Blender 3.1 and every other version seems to work fine so anything blender 3.0 will work great maybe even 2.9 so that's awesome and yeah to download blender just go under blender.org go to downloads and just download blender 3.12 this should work very great now we are at the checking out the rig part of the video so let us go into T-Pose and I'll show you how the rig works. One thing I have to mention early is that the hair is not rigged, so we cannot move it. It will always, always remain like this. So this is mostly meant for poses or very simple, small animations. But if you want to be more complex, you will need to make your own hair simulation system or more a uh, simple mesh hair system and then rig it that way. Uh, anyways, this is the rig, pretty detailed. Uh, one thing I recommend is enabling simplify so you can actually move stuff around. Uh, of course, once you do render, disable simplify, but uh, if you're creating poses or animations, this is great. Uh, yeah, the rig is fairly detailed. Great weight painting, works great. Everything is awesome. It's using Rigify, so you can also enable all these extra layers if you want and to have more small details if these are, this is this something you would need. Of course, fingers, you can, finger details, you can do everything. Yeah, and the rig is fairly good. You can, yeah, do almost anything. Simple animations and posing will do great. The face is also pretty awesome. The eyes are well rigged as well. We can make blinking without any issue. As you can see, eye closes and stuff like that. Pretty awesome stuff. You can move the nose a bit as well. Puff up the cheeks if you want her to, I don't know, eat gum or something. And uh, yeah, the mouth as well. We have a tongue and everything. Now we are at the changing the poses part of the video. It's fairly simple stuff. Click on nothing. Make sure when you press G, nothing is selected. So if I press this and I press G, I can move it around. If I press on nothing and I press G, this character does not move. So we can click on the other poses that are included and switch through them. But one thing you need to make sure is if we, for example, select something, and then we change the poses. You can see they don't work. This is again because we have selected the rig layers. Make sure you have nothing selected and then you change the pose and you can see uh, it works fine. So just make sure you have nothing selected when you create the poses. And now we are at the exporting renders part of the video. Fairly simple stuff. Just go to the top left corner, click on render, render image. If you have a stronger GPU, it will take around 40 seconds. In my case, it took 44 seconds. My system is a RTX 3070. So it's a uh, yeah, pretty strong GPU. But uh, there's ways to optimize it, of course. If you know Blender, if you know your way around Blender, you should be fine. You can get it down to like 30 or 25 if you want to. Uh, yeah, 44 second renders. Let's wait for it to denoise. Yeah, the image is now denoised. You can see the quality is really, really awesome. Um, to save the image, simply go to the top left corner, click on image, save as, and then as usual, save wherever you want it. 
on default, it's going to render as a transparent image, and then you can do whatever you want with that. Now we're at the creating a custom pose part of the video. Let's first start off by going into T pose. So make sure nothing is selected. Go to defaults and uh, usually try to have reference for whatever you want to create. In my case, I'll just do a very, very simple example because I rather just want to show you how you can save the poses. But in your case, spend more time creating the custom pose. Let's move that, pressing G. So I'm moving the hands. I'll make her like wave a bit. This looks kind of weird. Let's make her smile. Let's move these G, Z, oh, G, X. Not like a bit, not too bad, not too much. This is of course not the best one, but it will do. Let me actually go into this one, see how it looks. Not the best pose, not the worst, but in our case, this will do. Now we're at the saving a custom pose part of the video. As we just did make a pose, let us now save it. So we have the rig layer enabled. The most important thing you have to do is make sure none of the rig layers are enabled. If you do not make sure that you do that, you will lose the pose. So you can see now, if I press G, this thing moves. But if I press on nothing and press G, nothing is selected. And that's the very most important part when you're saving the pose. So nothing is selected. I'm pressing the plus and add new. And you can see the pose is saved. Make sure to rename it now or you will forever forget to rename it. Xerix 6 waving uh, pose. We have it now saved. Now we can go switch to standing and then waving pose and we have our poses all saved. And make sure for your pose to be saved to not enable any of the other layers as I just showed. Um, yeah, just make sure to do that and you can see the pose saves very well. All is great. Uh, thanks for watching. If you'd like to purchase this character, check out the links in the description. And if you have any questions about the character itself or anything else, you can let me know in the comments or just message me on the sites. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.